You are listening to Pelushi Performance Podcast and here is your host Ray Pelushi. Hello everybody and welcome to the new episode. Thank you for finding the time and spending your precious time with me here today. I'm Ray and I'm your host and let's get straight to today's topic. If I may ask you please first, what is one thing that has the power of the magic wand? And I believe everybody might have different answers, uh, <laughs> which the answer for me is the question and not the question that I just asked, but the questions, because questions today have the answers. And that's why for me, the power of a magic wand is the question. The question it says adds so much power because the questions have all the answers and What does questions mean to you and how can we use questions to become the best version of ourselves and what do we need to know more about questions? I've learned the power of questions in the last two years, I would say, after I read a few books of Tony Robbins and many other life coaches have talked about this topic. But for me, I found this very, very fascinating. And why is that? Well, let me just go straight to explanation of why questions are very important to me and what kind of questions we have. Well, first of all, questions have the answers, right? And there's two types of questions, are the internal questions and the external questions. Now, both are very, very important. So let's go one after the other one and give some examples and see if it makes sense to you all and how you guys can use this on your daily life. External questions are questions that we ask other people, okay? It's, for example, if you are going to ask someone, you know, uh, where where is this road because you're visiting a new town or how can I find the direction to this place or what time it is and etc, etc. But... <laughs> This is not much valuable, right? You're like, well, I mean, we ask questions, but something that we don't know, Ray, are going to tell us today? Yeah, I'll probably say something, which is external questions in this situation and in, and in this topic are very important because we're going to talk about questions to finding answers that can improve us on things that we want. Now, humans, what I believe, are a species that want to look good on other people's eyes, okay? If you ask someone how you became successful or if you ask somebody to give you some tips that you may use on your goals or on something that is very valuable for you, they will answer and they will give you guys almost everything that they know. They'll go into details because they want to look smart. They want to look good because you feel good you know when you ask someone like hey like that's a nice dress where did you buy it or where did you bought it or is there anything behind the dress they'll tell you about like the dress and 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 everything that means the dress to them if you tell someone man that's a very very nice car I, i wish i had your car that car is amazing can you please tell me like how did you bought their car or can you tell me more and they'll tell about the car and next thing you know they'll tell you what they do for a living and hopefully i mean obviously i hope you guys have seen some of the videos on youtube which are funny that 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 guy goes and asks people like hey nice car what you do for a living and they, and they tell them what what they do for a living but obviously they're in camera and it doesn't go in more in detail but if you ask actually people with an intention that you want to learn they will tell you guys how how they became successful and i used it i used it on myself and i used it on some people that are very very successful in my eyes well you know they're not billionaires but i know that those people have a couple million dollars and i asked them i said hey you are very successful on my eyes and i really want to know how you became so successful i swear to you they gave me in detail almost like how they came from another country or how they were broke and made millions and lost it again and made millions again i was just fascinating how much those things work and to be honest with you i also have seen it on myself when people come and ask me like how did you become the head coach or how did you do this i feel good like i have this feeling like oh my god like i am i'm being valuable like I, I, somebody value me and of course i'm going to help them because 
they value me and I want to look good and, you know, check on yourself, guys. See if somebody asks you those questions. What is your emotional state in that moment? And please, please, please go and ask other people questions and you will find all the answers. Now, there's only one trick here. If you come and tell me, hey, Ray, I need a thousand dollars, I'll tell you, well, so do I. But if you're telling me that I need a thousand dollars to help someone because they are broke and they need money for food and something that is going to be used in for a good cause, then I will give you a thousand dollars. Now you come back to me next week and you're like, Ray, I found some other people that are very, very they're living terrible, okay? They have no house and we need to build the house and I'm asking my friends and I need from you $10,000 or $20,000 or $30,000 and I'll be like, you know, like I probably have those money or I don't depending on what, <laughs> when are you asking me? But I'll be like, I don't know if I can give this amount because I don't have left, for example. But if you're asking me with those intentions, I'll be like, listen, I cannot give you 20000 but how about I give you another 1000 and let me help you find the rest. So this is the trick here. People that they cannot help you, they will find ways to help you or at least they will address you somewhere that hopefully you can get what you're asking for. Sometimes you also got to be very persistent. Now, it's different being persistent and annoying. <laughs> so if you keep asking people, I mean, don't ask the same person a hundred times, please, because they'll keep tell you, say, tell you no. But just ask other people. If Ray cannot help you, maybe ask the ex and then maybe ask the Y person. And if you keep asking other people, somebody will be able to help you or give you the answer. Okay? So this is the external part. And I hope you like this because it can really, really open a lot of doors. Yeah, because it has opened a lot of doors for me. So now let's go to almost uh, the, the, the most powerful thing, uh, which is always about us. I tell this over and over to my videos, to my friends. Everything is about us, guys. Because even when you ask somebody in the street or you're having a conversation with somebody that let's say their career are way lower than you, for them, they are the most important person in this planet, Okay. So I hope that you are the, also the most important person in this planet for yourself. So why don't we take care about ourselves so much? Because we can, can grow, we can improve, we can, we can become this powerful person that, that can help succeed in many ways and even help other people succeed in many ways. So how about we master ourselves in order to help and give back? And just become the best version of ourselves. So we're going to talk about the internal questions. And are my favorites, favorites, favorites. Now there's a study that shows that 95% of the time we are in autopilot. Like our brain constantly wanders around. So knowing that, we got to develop a self-awareness skill that we should be that, that, that we should know that our mind is never staying still it's going somewhere so why don't we control and program our mind to go into places that we want to it says another side says that we, we almost around we, we, we have around 60,000 thoughts in a day and if 95% of our, of our day and our, our thoughts wander around in autopilot, imagine if we can control a bit more how much power we will have and how many things we can do and how many answers we can find and many, many, many more other things, okay? So what I'm trying to say here is that we, you know, first knowing that 95% goes in autopilot, and having so many thoughts, and we got to control those thoughts, okay? Now, another very important thing that we should know about our internal part is that if you notice, guys, we are constantly having a conversation with ourselves. It feels like we have another person living inside of us, that we constantly want their approval. We are constantly asking that person. We, can't, we, we, we kind of have like a conversation with ourselves every single moment, right? You wake up and you're like, hmm, what do I really, what do I need to dress today? Should I 
get this shirt and you're like well i don't know how about that it's like you're having a, mo- a monologue you're having a conversation with another person but you're actually having with yourself you're like hmm do i want to make eggs now or maybe should i eat later what you think uh well, you know what I'll, I'll, I'll go later so knowing that we can use it for good so what do i mean i mean that we can ask ourselves questions constantly and our brain will find the answers think about a moment in your life when you were young that you needed a toy or something that your parents didn't give you straight away but you kept thinking about it and somehow that playstation that dress their toy that thing ended up in reality became a reality to you because when you constantly think for something you are going to attract that or energy what 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 is the perfect phrase from Tony Robbins? I think he says that where focus goes, energy flows. Yes, that's what he says. Or, and I truly believe that because where you're thinking about something is you, your brain now it's it's wandering and and it's programmed to find only things about that thing, about that question, about that area. You get a car and you buy like an, an SUV green Ford. And you're like, well, I've seen some SUV Green Ford, but not that much. Buy an SUV Green Ford. Or think about that car that you want to buy or you're looking. Somehow, now you're just noticing SUV Green Ford. (laughs) It's like, it's crazy how much like things can become in reality just by shifting our mind and asking the questions. So ask ask yourself daily, guys. Ask like if you're if you're going if you want to find an answer for something, ask yourself. Literally, just ask yourself, and 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 I can improvise and be like, Ray, what do you think? What is the best way for me to make this happen? Can I do something better than this? Should I send this email to this person right now? Do I actually need to eat this right now? Can I do better today? And or just wake up in the morning and and ask yourself what is the best thing i should do today if this is the last day of my life how do i want to live it what is the most important thing i should tackle the very first thing today and when you go in the night before you're going to bed you again ask yourself was there anything better that i could have done today who did i help today what did i learn how much i improved what what things i did to help me come closer to my goals and literally, guys, just ask yourself questions because you will find answers and you will just even be more aware of what you're doing in your life. Sometimes, again, as I mentioned, we're just wondering. We, we don't know exactly what's going on in our life. You ask people today, what did you eat for breakfast? And most of the people won't even be able to tell you. You're like, hmm, let me think. Or oh, there'll be like a 10 seconds pause <laughs> for what they just ate a couple hours ago. It's it's ridiculous, right? <laughs> but that's, that's, that's how it goes. So... Ask yourself questions daily, constantly for everything. Question every information that you receive as well. If this is the best information you can have and how can you use it and do you really want to use it or not? And also be aware, be aware about those things because just by being aware, you'll probably start developing the, again, the awareness tool that you're going to think more about it. But if you go into a hole, a dark hole, you feel like there's no light just ask yourself, like, how can I find the light? What do I need to do? Or, you know, just, just, just do this. Trust me, guys. It, it will help a lot. It, and I hope you can, like everything else, don't make it as like stressful because if it's stressful and if I tell you do this, do this because it's good, we tend to constantly or i feel like since we're young we we tend to disagree with other people if if our parents tell us to do something you will do the opposite if i tell you right now like do this you'll be like you know well, whatever some other day try to make it maybe as a game something you can enjoy or just be like play a game like okay today i'm just gonna answer five questions and let me ask myself five questions and then maybe ask this from question the next day just so you can enjoy it and, and make this a routine because if it becomes a part of you then it will stick for you forever so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope um, (laughs) you develop or learn more things about the questions and if you have any questions about the questions to me i'll be more than happy to answer just give me your thoughts like comments all this stuff that everybody promotes you can do uh, to to this podcast as well but again this is not for me to get views uh, 
if I can help somebody, even someone, just one person with one of my podcasts, then I've done my job because every single one of you guys matter. So thank you so much for, for listening and giving me your precious time. And until the next video, you guys stay blessed. <laughs>